Hi guys, uh, this is Dr. G here and in this video I will give you a brief introduction to alkanes. So alkanes are organic compounds which means it, it contains carbons and hydrogens and also alkanes fall under the subcategory called hydrocarbons. Okay, hydrocarbons. So as the name implies, as the name implies it contains hydro which means hydrogen and carbons, right? So Alkanes are organic compounds that contains only that contains only carbons and hydrogens. That therefore we call them hydrocarbons. And in fact, alkanes are the most simplest form of alkanes. Why? Because they not only have carbon and hydrogen atoms, they also have single bonds between carbons and hydrogens, and of course, carbons and carbons. Okay, so because of that, we say that. Alkanes are the simplest hydrocarbons that contains carbon-carbon or carbon-hydrogen single bonds. Okay, so the general chemical formula for alkanes is uh, identified to be CnH2n plus 2. So the general chemical formula for alkanes, if it has no rings, of course, uh, will be uh, CnH2n plus 2 which means if you have n number of carbons the number of hydrogens will be twice the number of carbons plus 2 okay so as an example let's say you have a uh, alkane you have an alkane with uh, with let's say four carbon atoms okay you have an alkane with four carbon atoms so the number of hydrogens will be Okay, you multiply the number of carbons by 2 and you add 2 to it. So you will have 10 hydrogens. So the chemical formula for, uh, for an alkane uh, with 4 carbons will be C4H10. Okay, another example, let's say you have an alkane with uh, 6 carbon atoms, 6 carbon atoms, then... Uh, you will multiply 6 by 2 and add 2. So the total number of hydrogens you will have in this chemical formula will be 14. 14. So it will be C6H14. Okay. So similarly, if you only know the number of hydrogens, let's say you know the number of hydrogens is 20. You can calculate how many carbons it has. Okay. So you can calculate how many carbons it has. So basically in this example, if you have 20 hydrogens you will have nine carbons you will have nine carbons and uh, please note that this general chemical formula cnh2n plus 2 will only work will only work if you have no rings in your alkane okay so that is something that you want to remember and also uh, when it comes to a certain number of carbons okay when it comes to the number of carbons in alkanes you have the maximum amount of hydrogens possible possible for that particular number of carbons okay so therefore uh, alkanes are known as saturated hydrocarbons alkanes are known as saturated hydrocarbons why because they contain the maximum amount of hydrogens possible for a certain number of carbons okay so uh, that is something to remember. So uh, if you have n number of carbons, the maximum number of hydrogens possible will be 2n plus 2. And because of that, we say that uh, alkanes are saturated. Alkanes are saturated. Okay. And uh, there are two types of uh, alkanes. There are two types of alkanes. Okay. Uh, the first kind is called straight chain alkanes. The first kind is called straight chain alkanes. In these alkanes, uh, in straight chain alkanes, uh, you have carbons connected to no more than two other carbons. Okay, so the carbons that you have in straight chain alkanes uh, have two or uh, less than two number of other carbons connections. Okay, so basically every carbon will be either a CH3 group or it will be a CH2 group okay so for straight chain alkanes every carbon will be either a CH3 or a CH2 okay so carbons are connected to no more than two other carbons but when it comes to branched chain alkanes branched chain alkanes uh, 
uh, not only you have straight chains you also have branches you also have branches okay so in here uh, these these are uh, these group right here these are uh, these carbon hydrogen groups they are called branches okay uh, or you can say they are substituents so whenever an alkene whenever an alkene has branches okay whenever alkenes have branches we call them branch chain alkenes so the thing about these branch chain alkenes is that you can have carbons in these branch chain alkenes that are connected to two or four, i mean three or four other carbon atoms okay so not only you have ch3s and ch2s in branch chain alkenes you also have groups like ch okay groups like ch or just uh, quaternary carbons where you know carbons are connected to four other carbons okay so those are possibilities okay so if you take a look at uh, if you take a look at uh, this carbon right here that is a ch why because it has three other groups connected okay and this carbon right here is just a quaternary carbon or a carbon that has four other carbons connected four other carbons connected okay so in branch chain alkanes you can have one or more carbon atoms that is connected to three or four other carbon atoms okay three or four other carbon atoms three or four other carbon atoms okay so that is something to remember okay so you can have straight chain alkanes where all the carbons are in a straight chain or you can have uh, alkanes with branches or we call them uh, substituents al alkyl substituents all right so uh, the other important thing about alkanes is that alkanes have a root name in to it okay alkanes have a root name in which means uh, alkanes will always have a n e alkanes will always have a n e uh, to their name okay so you take a name for an alkane and you look at the last three letters if it is an a n e that, that is the identity of alkanes okay so alkanes have the root name a n e and uh, the other important thing is that uh, how to name these alkanes okay so nomenclature of alkanes is the next thing that we are going to worry about okay nomenclature of alkanes is the next thing that we are going to worry about and i will have a separate video on detailing how to name alkanes okay i will have a separate video on how to name alkanes in more detail but in this video i will basically briefly show you uh, how to name uh, straight chain alkanes i will briefly show you how to name straight chain alkanes so when you are naming when you are naming straight chain alkanes you only worry about uh, the number of carbons okay so you only worry about the number of carbons so we just i just mentioned that if it is an alkane the name should always end with n right the name should always end with m n so when you, when you are naming straight chain alkanes you will simply use a greek i mean use a greek prefix you will use a greek prefix that basically tell you how many carbons you have in that uh, particular alkane okay so uh, you will basically have a prefix uh, that will tell you how many carbons you have how many carbons you have in a uh, in a uh, certain uh, straight chain okay so you add the prefix in front of n and that will be the name of your alkane okay as an example as an example let's say you have uh, an organic compound an alkane sorry an alkane where you only have one carbon you know the chemical formula of course and uh, it should also have uh, n at the end because it is an alkane and not only that not only that you will also have you will also have a greek prefix that will tell you how many carbons it has so for one carbon the greek prefix will be met for one carbon the greek prefix will be met and if you have two carbons the greek prefix will be eth for three carbons it will be prop 
four carbons but okay similarly you will you will uh, identify the prefixes that you have okay or the names of the prefixes using this table this is actually direct, directly from your textbook okay and these prefixes basically uh, tell you how many carbons you have okay so the first thing that i want you to do is you you want to remember you want to remember the prefix name uh, along with the number of carbons along with the number of carbons so let's say if you have three carbons the prefix will be prop if you have three carbons the prefix will be prop so the alkane name will be prop n the alkane name will be propane so for for an alkane for an alkane with three carbons a straight chain alkane with three carbons the name will be propane so if you have a straight chain alkane with let's say six carbons if you have a uh, uh, straight chain alkane with six carbons the name will be hexane why because six the greek prefix that we use for six is hex and then you follow that prefix name with n at the end okay so the name for straight chain alkane with six carbons will be hexane all right so with that i'm going to uh, conclude this video uh, i will uh, publish a more detailed video on how to name alkanes uh, so that you will have a much better understanding on naming not only straight chain alkanes but also uh, branch chain alkanes okay so keep an eye for that other video as well so let me know if you have any questions okay you guys have a good one take care